While we're sheltering in place, we might find ourselves with more free time than we had before. Now is a great time to explore new leisure activities and hobbies. I've included some fun indoor hobbies and activities that can spark creativity, help develop new skills, and relieve stress. Reading is one leisure activity that I enjoy, and if you like to read but have had trouble reading since your stroke, audiobooks may be something that you will like. You can listen to audiobooks on your phone, your tablet, or your computer. The Johnson County Library, the Olathe Public Library, and the Kansas City Public Library all offer ebooks and audiobooks that you can listen to on your Kindle or your tablet, your iPhone, and Android, or your computer. show you how to access audiobooks from the Kansas City Public Library. So you'll just go to Google and search for the Kansas City Public Library and then click on the link and it should take you to this website. And then you'll click on books, music, movies, and digital. Then you'll go over here to the right and click digital branch. And then if you don't already have an e-card, You'll have to sign up to get an e-card so that you can have access. And then you'll just click get an e-card. It should take you to a page that looks like this. It says e-card registration. You'll just fill out all of your information and create a PIN number for your account. And then you'll click register. And then it will send a verification link to you in your email. And you'll have to log into your email and click on that link. And then... You'll have to enter in your account number, which they will send you in your email. So you can copy and paste that, or you can write it down and then type it into that box. And then you'll have to enter in this PIN number that you've created. And then once you've verified that that's your email, then you can go back to this website and click this tab again, but this time click audiobooks. And then you'll scroll down, you'll click digital audiobooks, digital new and notable. It will take you down a little bit and it tells you with this one you get 14 day checkouts, no holds, no renewals. Um, you can check out seven books up at a time. And then you'll click download the 360 app and it should take you to a page that looks like this where you can see the covers of the books. Um, and you can just kind of browse through those. Or if you have a specific one in mind, you can type it in the search bar. Or if you want to look at a specific category, you click these three lines on the side and then click browse by subject and it will pop up with a list of all of the different categories of books that they have. Um, and then if you look at these books, they have little icons in the corner and so these ones right here that look like a little book in the top left, those are ebooks. So those are books um, that you'd read on your Kindle or your tablet, laptop, phone. And then if you want to make an audiobook, you have to make sure it has the little headphones in the corner. Um, and then you can listen to that on your Kindle or your tablet or your computer or your phone. And then you'll just click checkout and it will prompt you to put in that account number they sent you in your email and your PIN number. And then once you've checked out a book, you can come over to this side menu right here with three lines again and hit checkout. And it will take you to a page that looks like this and it will show you the book that you've checked out. And you can just hit listen now and it should play your book for you so you can listen to it. And that is all you have to do. Now I'm going to show you how to access the Access 360 app for the audiobooks on an iPhone and it'll be a similar process for an Android. So first you'll just go into your app store so it's just this blue app store icon for an iPhone and I think it's a Google Play for the Android phones and then you'll just go into the search bar and type in Access 360 and it should be this green one and you'll just hit get install and then you'll just enter in your iCloud or your Apple ID and password and then once you have the app you will enter in your 
um, account number for the library and the PIN number that you created and then you should be able just to click on an audiobook that you would like and hit check out and listen to it that way on your phone if you would prefer to listen on your phone. If you enjoy listening to stories or learning new things, you might like listening to podcasts. There are podcasts on all different subjects, history, news, true crime, stories, and health and wellness. I like to listen to podcasts while I'm cleaning or going on a walk, but you can also listen to podcasts while you're cooking or just kind of hanging out. You can listen to them on an iPhone, an Android, tablet, iPad, or computer. And on the next slide, I will show you guys how you can get access to some free podcasts. All right, now I'm going to show you how to access podcasts. So if you have an iPhone or an iPad, this is one way that you can do it. Um, so you have podcasts. This purple app should be just automatically downloaded on your phone. So if you go into there, we can see the top charts. You can see some of the more popular podcasts. Um, and then you can go to categories and search this way if there is a category that you like. So if you want to learn about health and fitness, you can click on this one. And then we can click on this. And then you can see all the episodes that this podcast has that you can listen to. And if you like it, you can click this purple subscribe button. And then all of their new episodes will show up in your my podcast page. This is where all the ones you have subscribed will show up and all their new ones will show up in this unplayed section. Um, and if you have an Android phone, you can go into your Google Play app store and download the Google Play podcasts and it should be a process similar to this. Um, or if you'd like another way, you can download, if you go into the app store, you can download um, an app called Spotify, so you'll just go into the search bar at the bottom, search Spotify, and then it should be a free app you can download, and you'll go in and you'll create an account, and that should also be free. It's this green one right here. You can listen to music on it, or you can listen to podcasts um, and then since I already have it downloaded I'll just go in and show you guys so you'll go to the Spotify app and then it should pop up if you go to the search bar in the middle down here then you can scroll down and go to podcasts it'll show you some featured ones and then here's all the categories again, so you can just search by category to find one that you like. Got ones about stories, got news, we have music, lifestyle, and health. You can also go to the podcast charts and kind of see what's the most popular. And then if you find one that sounds good, you can just click on that. And then these are all the episodes they have, and you can just hit this little play button and it should start playing it for you and that is how you guys can listen to podcasts board games puzzles and card games are other fun ways to spend free time they can be a fun way to relax and spend time with others while also working on cognitive skills like memory and problem solving and vision and fine motor skills there are many different forms of art. Visual arts, such as drawing, painting, coloring, sculpting, photography, and crafts, have been shown to improve mood, confidence, enhance self-efficacy, provide a sense of ownership and control, and instill a sense of hope. Engaging in the process of creating something meaningful can be empowering, and it can be a way to express emotions and creativity. Being immersed in a task, such as painting, can positively improve mood and reduce stress. Participating in creating artwork can also provide opportunities to work on vision and motor skills. Many of the forms of art don't require many supplies and you may already have them around the house. You can follow a tutorial or create whatever you feel inspired to make. Music is another art form and leisure activity we can take part in either by listening to music or playing an instrument. 
There are many ways we can listen to music on our phone, tablet, computer, or radio. If you have an instrument at your home, playing it is a way you can express creativity and emotion. Music has been shown to improve mood and decrease symptoms of depression. It can also relieve stress, stimulate your memory, and it can improve cognition. Cooking and baking are fun ways to get creative and work on cognitive skills, fine motor skills, and strength. Studies have also shown a positive influence associated with cooking on self-esteem, social interaction, and quality of life. Cooking with your loved ones is a great way to spend time together, and sharing your baking with loved ones is a way to express emotion and show love. The American Stroke Foundation has many great recipes you can try on their Instagram or send out in their emails, and if you don't have an Instagram account, you can find more recipes to try on the American Heart Association website. Demonstrate how to get on the American Heart Association website, and this is a, re a really good alternative if you don't have access to Instagram, if you don't have an account, you can look up um, healthy recipes to try on this website. They've got a lot of different options. So I'm just going to go onto my browser, so I'm on Google, and I'm going to type in the American Heart Association and recipes. Click on this first link, and then if you scroll down, you can see it's already, we're on the recipes, they've got a blueberry smoothie you can try, and if you keep scrolling down, you can look at, they have, recipe collection so you can search by courses if you want to look at a snack or a side or soup you can also search by lifestyle so if you wanted like a special holiday recipe or if you've got grandkids coming over and you wanted a kid friendly one you can search by that if you keep scrolling then they have a whole bunch of different recipes and they have pictures which is nice because then you can see a little bit better of what it's supposed to look like when you're making it. We've got some cooking skills videos so if you wanted to learn some more skills when you're in the kitchen so we have how to save time which would be a really good one. Scroll over and see how to make a mason jar salad. Also have some eating smart options, some recipes for that and some facts for you and that is basically the website if we click on a recipe we can click this link and then it will take us to the recipe see they've got a picture and if you click play they will have a video that shows you how to make this um, it tells you the calories the protein you can see that it's got 3.1 grams of fiber got all of the ingredients we'll need to make it and then the steps for how to make it and that is basically the website so this is again just a really good alternative if you don't have access to Instagram you can always just search for healthy recipes on the American Heart Association website yoga Pilates and Tai Chi are other leisure activities you can do at home these are great ways to improve strength, balance, and flexibility. They can improve energy, metabolism, and cardiovascular health. They are meditative, which can relieve stress and anxiety. The American Stroke Foundation has many great videos on their YouTube channel you can follow along with. YouTube also has many other chair yoga, Pilates, and Tai Chi videos that you can do for free.